All right, team, level up. So we got an amazing video for you. We are making the best box brownies. Shout out to Pillsbury. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and empty our brownie mix. We're gonna follow that up with the ingredients, one fourth cup of water, and we're gonna go in with two thirds cup of vegetable oil. This is gonna to help to create very moist brownies. And also feel free to substitute this for butter as well if you like that buttery flavor. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and crack in two eggs as directed, and we're just gonna give this all a real nice and good mix into this pudding texture type. Make sure it is, there's no air bubbles and mix it slow, just as you see right here, guys. This should all take just a few minutes. I would definitely recommend to mix at this rate. This is gonna to help to create rich, thick, fudgy brownies. And it should look like this. Next, we're making level up brownies. I'm going in with some semi-sweet chocolate chunks. This is roughly one third cups. This is actually my favorite chocolate chips. And then we're gonna follow that up with one fourth cup of these Dutch cocoa powder chips chocolate chips, they're 60% cocoa. Then we're gonna go in with one third cups of these cream cheese flavored chocolate chips. And guys, this is not a good cream cheese flavor, so I'll be doing another brownie recipe later, mixing it with actual cream cheese. But guys, just missed ingredients just as you see here. I can tell you this is gonna bake for 41 minutes exactly on 350. And then I added a little bit more of those cream cheese white chocolate chips just to make sure it gets all mixed in there, guys. So I have my baking dish. I'm just gonna spray this with some Pam. Any type of vegetable spray works. Make sure you spray good. And then go ahead and add in that brownie batter mix, guys. It should look just like this. You can tell this is gonna be something amazing. And I'm making this video, like I said, I'm not doing homemade because not a lot of people have uh, cocoa powder on hand or Dutch cocoa powder. So we're doing these wet box brownies, guys. And like I say, guys, this is pretty much it. So garnish it as you please. I'm going in with some of those 60% cocoa chips, followed up with some of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then these cream cheese flavored chocolate chips. And like I say, in the oven on 350 for 41 minutes exactly. And this is what we're looking like, guys. I would say allow at least 30 minutes to cool. But before you do that, just insert something, a metal rod or anything, it should come out clean. But guys, just look at this. These brownies were 10 out of 10, I cook them again. And just look at that guys, rich, fudgy, and thick. And I got two of them. And I made them bite size, I got kids guys, so I didn't make them really big. Just look at this, guys. Give you a little close-up. Rich, fudgy, thick chocolate chip brownies. I could have did without these white cream cheese bites because they did not work. But guys, this is pretty much it. This is one of my go-to desserts I love to make. So you guys know what to do. If you like this type of content, please remember to like, share, subscribe. And as always, we turn common food into world class. Thanks for watching and look forward to my next video.